And now allow me, Sir Richard Good, to tell you one of my favorite stories. We begin our tale inside of Mike's bungalow as Legion Mike searches for something. And for some reason, he's portrayed by a bird. I'm sure he'll stay exactly that way for the rest of this story. What is Legion Mike searching for, I wonder? It's gotta be here somewhere. Just gotta keep looking. Ayo, it me, I'm here. What's going on? What are you doing? Took you long enough to get here. I'm ransacking NCR Mike's room. I'm looking for some important technology. I'm guessing that if there was important technology, it would be in here. Is that a bidet? In, in the bath? I haven't checked the bathroom yet. I didn't imagine him to have the important tech in the bathroom. I The luxuries that some people need to survive out here. Hey, hey man, don't knock until you've tried it. That's great. You don't even have to use toilet paper anymore when you have a bidet. I don't want to hear about your ghost bidet or your ghost toilet paper. The extravagance is nauseating. Look at all these books he's hoarding. Do you think he reads any of them? No, he just puts them on display to make himself look smart. If he were a more altruistic person, he'd open up a library or something. A library in Novak, huh? Um, hey, I've been meaning to ask. I'm just a touch bit confused on the timeline and exactly what our goals are here. That's understandable. It has become quite a bit convoluted. Here's the simple version. Ooh, fun diagrams. When I arrived in the Mojave, I pledged my loyalty to the Legion. I killed their political enemies, aided their allies, and built alliances for them. Awe, true to Kaisar. Yes. Thanks to my efforts, the Legion conquered Hoover Dam, and our dominance in the region was secured. Ooh. Meanwhile, in a completely different universe... <laughs> The alternate version of me teamed up with some turd called Zack to oppose the Legion at every opportunity. I think he pronounces his name. <laughs> this resulted in a universe where Kaisar has failed. Gasp. At some point, I was pulled into a temporal rift of some sort and brought to this timeline where the NCR's corruption is absolute. Is that Zack guy in an alternate version of me? Because he kind of looks like me. Afraid not, Ghost of Aurelius of Phoenix from my timeline, who came with me via the Temporal Rift, or maybe it's just a hallucination, I'm still not sure. The resemblance might be similar, but the Aurelius of Phoenix in this timeline is already dead. Zack killed him. And then he took my face off and wore it like a trophy? Uh, I'm not sure why you two look so much alike. It's probably just a coincidence. Don't think about it. Regardless, I cannot bear to live in a universe like this. A universe where the malfeasance and incompetence of the NCR goes unpunished. And what happened to the universe I left behind, anyway? How long can the Legion last without my leadership? That's why I need to get back as soon as I can. Which is why I needed this. Is that a gun? It, kind of. Uh, it's the big mountain teleporter. The, the device that, uh transcends reality and allows for instantaneous teleportation. If I take this device, which breaks the laws of space, and combine it with a time machine, which breaks the laws of time, I can create a space time machine! Interdimensional travel at the push of a button! Quickly, we must return to Sector B so that I may craft it! Ooh, Sector B! Yeah. Oh, hey, if you thought the bidet was nice, check it out. This guy's got a really nice shower. You want to wash it up before you go? There's no time. We've got work to do. All right, whatever you say, Stinky. Don't mind me. I'm just going to be wearing this clothespin on my nose. As our dynamic duo were attempting to leave the bungalow, they find themselves ambushed by a strange man in a red baseball cap. He brandishes a firearm in their general direction and begins to ominously elucidate. Hello, Mike. Um, hello. Yes, I am Mike, beloved lackey of the NCR. This is my house. Do I know you? You look familiar. Drop your weapons and surrender. You're coming with me. Oh, right. I forgot that NCR Mike has, or I have, a lot of enemies. Uh, so what are you? Legion? Enclave? Brotherhood? Not quite. The Some Guy Syndicate? 
the British MPs, American Weirdos Cheese Mafia. The name's Maxwell. I'm with the NCR Counter Slaver Division. The NCR has a Counter Slaver Division? Well, with the war against the Legion winding down, we've been able to allocate more resources for domestic operations. Of course you have. The NCR can tell the difference between you, and the person you've been impersonating, and your actions have not gone unnoticed. You're under arrest for identity theft, associating with the slaver Adam Rezesnik and the alleged sale of a woman to Caesar's Legion. Oh, Vanessa? She got too clingy. It was perfectly justified. Oh, don't worry. We'll give you a fair trial. If you're innocent, then there won't be a problem. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What if I'm not innocent? Then you'll probably be sentenced to 20 years of hard labor. So the punishment for being a slaver is to be enslaved? Seems a little hypocritical, honestly. I prefer ironic. Now, are you going to surrender, or is this going to get messy? Well, unless there's a secret back door I could escape into... Uh, nope, sorry, can't find one. I suppose I don't have much choice. All right, let's go. Nice and easy. Just how I like it. One would think this is the end of Legion Mike's plans. However, one would think incorrectly. Using every ounce of his gigantic brain power, Mike concocts a devious plan to rescue himself from the bonds of this... Bondsman. Hey everybody! This guy's secretly with the Legion! He's trying to take me away! Are you guys just gonna let that happen? What the fuck? Are you actually fucking crazy here? No, you don't understand. I mean, yes, I am trying to arrest him, but... In the ensuing confusion, Legion Mike seizes the opportunity to escape post-haste. He dashes out the front gate before the red-capped imbecile can chase him. I warned you, dude! I told you that if you didn't have companions, people were gonna see past your disguise! It doesn't matter. Literally none of this matters. Once I get my device working, I'll be back in my home universe. This place can rot for all I care. Running! (laughs) Stop mocking me, I know you don't breathe. (laughs) I can do whatever I want! Having escaped the clutches of the NCR agent, Legion Mike retreats to his cleverly disguised hideout, which is still the same sector B from episode 200. Here, Legion Mike works fervidly on a device of unknown purpose. The ghost of Aurelius of Phoenix, who is still a dickhead, I don't care what anyone says, is showing genuine concern for his mental state, as Mike is intently focused on his work. Dude, pace yourself. I know you're eager, but don't overdo it. Don't overdo it, he says. As if I weren't currently being pursued by a bounty hunter. Mm, Not really a bounty hunter, just a government agent. I wouldn't be too worried. I mean, he's a government agent for the NCR, so he's probably corrupt and lazy. Perhaps, but there's no guarantees. That guy, Maxwell, he might already know the location of this base. It's only a matter of time before he shows up again. But if you rebuilt all the robot sentries, he wouldn't be able to get past them all. <laughs> Not by himself, no. But if he brought back up... Ugh, never mind, it's the Ultra Polka again. They're already here. You can't run forever, slaver. If you won't surrender, I'll just have to kill you. Hey, Legion Mike, let's make a deal, yeah? If you stop stealing my shit, We'll stop destroying your base! I'm not entirely sure who you are or why we have to fight you, but I'm ready to kill some robots! X-Man doesn't know where you live, but he knows where you're going to die. The NCR agent Maxwell had indeed hired the assistance of Mike and Zack, and also all of their companions. Even the ones that you thought they had forgotten about, like the ones that were only in one episode. Those ones too. They're all off-screen. I won't be showing them. It's not really that important. Look, we don't have a big enough budget for that. Where are the motherfucking chicken nuggets up in this hoe? You can't hide them forever. I will smell them. It's actually quite comical how pathetic the robots are. Goodness, oh, oh lord. But then again, Legion Mike is a member of the Legion, and robots aren't exactly his forte. 
I mean, look, that one, that one is literally just a toaster with googly eyes on it. You know, you really should get a better lock on that door. Uh, Mike. Hey. Let them destroy my robots. They can have the whole damned base. The device is almost ready. Um, they're, uh, already past the first line. Legion Mike could scarcely hear what Aurelius was saying as he focused so diligently on his strange contraption. The excitement of it all reminded him of how he'd felt back when he had just begun his work for Kaiser so long ago. Uh, hi there, you must be Mike. Lord Kaiser told me you were coming. Yes, Aurelius of Phoenix, is it? I was told you would be the one handling my assignments on this side of the river. Ah, that is correct. Together we can rid this place of the NCR scum. True to Kaiser! Ah, way, true to Kaiser. Yeah, true to Kaiser. So, not to pry, but your slave woman is looking a bit, uh, stressed. Ah, it's her own fault, really. She disobeyed one of my commands and entered Kaiser's tent without permission. Ooh, hoo, hoo, no! Yeah, she walked right past the guards and stood before Kaiser without even bending the knee. Yikes! Yeah, then she pointed at him and yelled, Oh my god, you're bald! Jesus! So the guards pinned her down and Kaiser made me cut out her tongue. Holy fuck! Yeah. Wow! Honestly, it was quite merciful of Lord Kaiser not to crucify either of us. I'll say. Legion Mike's TV-style flashback was interrupted by a blinding red light and a loud explosion, as a portal to a different universe appeared before his eyes. The universe that he craved to return to. No way! You actually did it! A portal to the other universe! The Legion-dominated universe! There's the Mojave outpost, with the bodies of the NCR soldiers hanging from the monument. Oh, it's just like home. And look, there's the Vegas Strip, dotted with crucifixes and patrolled by Legion soldiers. It's just like we left it. Almost as if, uh... It looks like the Legion is doing just fine without me. Huh. Looks like they have a new Kaiser now, and he's quite the handsome fellow. He's, uh... Launching an invasion into California with a fleet of tanks? Oh my god! Are those Legionnaires all holding assault rifles? As Legion Mike stared into the swirling red portal, he saw nothing but carnage. A somewhat familiar figure commanding a great army across NCR lands. <laughs> Kill them! Kill them all! Kill the bear! Take their guns and bring me their sea tortellini! Long live the Legion! Ave! Ave! Et molan lave! Molan lave isn't Latin, it's Greek! Will someone please kill Initiate Jerry? Thank you, Art! With a somewhat bittersweet look, Legion Mike closed the portal, much to Aurelius's astonishment. Well, never mind then. So we're not going back? Nope. They don't need me anymore, apparently. The Legion have already won, so there's no point. So, what, we're staying here? In a universe where the NCR won and a small army is mere minutes away from killing us. I mean, they'll kill you. Look, what I'm about to do is a bit of a gamble, but... We're in Vegas, baby! Let's roll these dice! Ugh, cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of the small office, Zack and Mike had nearly wrapped up their utter destruction of the robotic minions. Their companions stood atop a veritable mountain of metal robo-corpses. I don't know why you Legion scumbags always insist on making this difficult. Looks like you win, Max. That's Maxwell to you. Funny. I remember you by a different name. Raised among the tribals and warlords, you always sought to align yourself with the strongest group. When the NCR and Legion moved in, you saw which way the wind was blowing. You decided to join the group that you knew would be on the winning side. At first, the Legion seemed to be the superior fighting force. But after years of watching defeat after defeat... I knew that the Legion would never hold Vegas. A victory by the new California Republic is inevitable. 
I won't deny it. The Legion is looking very vulnerable these days. And yet, I know with absolute certainty, they'll still win. In fact, I can show you. No, you can't. You're being taken into NCR custody. Right now. Yes, I'll go quietly. Seriously, this time. No tricks. I promise. I want to tell you everything I know. Because once I do, I think you'll see things my way. It was at this moment that Zack and Mike forcibly inserted themselves into the conversation, much like a drunken uncle at a wedding that you'd rather not talk to. He has opinions about government and women. Aha! Looks like the jig is up, dirtbag! Aw, I wanted to say that. I mean, yeah, if there's one thing we hate more than Legion scum, it's Legion scum who break into our houses, steal our technology, and pee on our houseplants. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, that last one was me. I didn't think they could smell ghost pee. Looks like you've bested me, NCR Mike. Uh, I'm not with the NCR. We just sometimes do contract work for them. We're independent freelancers. You're wearing an NCR beret, and he's wearing Desert Ranger combat armor. But that doesn't mean we're with the NCR. I just found this thing lying on the road to Repcon. Yeah, and I stole this armor from the physical manifestation of Dino Jackson's inner turmoil back in episode 27? I think it's about 27, yeah? That's yeah, yeah, 27. 27. NCR or not, I appreciate your help in apprehending this wanted criminal. I'll be bringing him back to NCR HQ now, if you don't mind. Oh, hey, uh, do we get a reward for helping you out? That depends. How high is your barter skill? Uh, hold on, let me check. Uh, let's see here. No, tab, oh, God, I always press the wrong button. Tab, ah, uh, okay, uh, barter is 91. Sorry, you need a barter skill of 92 to get the bonus reward. Gah, heck! I'll also need to take this device with me. Evidence of his crimes and whatnot. We'll return in four to six weeks. Eh, that's fine. We weren't gonna go to the big mountain anytime soon. Hopefully ever again. Very good. Excuse us. All right, that's another... Wait, did we accomplish much of anything here? Why can't I change the buttons on this stupid Pip-Boy? I always get the wrong one. It's like, I need to go to the map, and then I go to the wrong frickin' tab. They got menus subdivided into menus. It's really annoying. It's very incredibly annoying. I think that's the last we'll see of Legion Mike. Wouldn't want to beat that joke into the ground. Hey, Malcolm Holmes! <laughs> <laughs> Look at his corpse. Everybody grab a club! Let's beat this dead horse! <laughs> bonk, 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 bonk! I just drag it behind me everywhere like a toboggan. <laughs> As Zack and Mike celebrated yet another victorious centennial conclusion, the NCR agent took the Legionary into custody. However... The legionary was confident that his stay would be brief. In the small, dimly lit interrogation room, he answered every question with the confidence of a man who had never gambled on a fart and lost. Another captured legionary. You know, I kind of prefer it when you guys kill yourselves, instead of surrendering. It cuts down on the paperwork. If you hate paperwork so much, you should consider joining the legion. We don't do paperwork. Oh, we don't do paperwork, huh? You have any idea how much work I had to do on a daily- What did you think I was doing in there, just sitting there? Do you have any idea how many forms you have to file to get a slave to go clean the murder pits? Most of us don't do paperwork. As nice as that sounds, I think I'll pass. I don't see much of a future for the Legion. You see that device? Push the button. <sighs> this better not be a trap. I hope I don't need to remind you that you are in a maximum security prison. If something happens to me after I touch this thing, the rest of your life will be in absolute hell. I promise you. Once you push that button, you'll understand. Maxwell did push the button, and the red swirling portal opened before him, revealing the horrors of the Legion-controlled universe. The vision of destruction on such a massive scale took Maxwell by surprise. What is this? What am I looking at? That is a window into the future. Every day that picture becomes clearer, and the future becomes closer to reality. 
Do you see now? An NCR victory isn't inevitable. It is impossible! No. This... this can't be. There's nothing you can do to stop it. You've chosen the wrong side. When the Legion conquers NCR lands, you'll be strung up and paraded around like all the others. But that doesn't have to be your fate, Maxwell. I know what you're capable of, and I'd like you to join me. What do you want from me? Hand me that device. It can do other things besides show you the future. What else does it do? Two words. Time machine. Wait, is time machine one word or two? It's two words. Hence why I said two words. What if it's hyphenated? It wouldn't be hyphenated because it's two separate words. What if it's a compound word like coffee maker? It's not a compound word! Who are you yelling at? But who was he yelling at? And what was this time machine he referred to? And where had Aurelius of Phoenix gotten that sweet belt that he wore over his shoulder? These are the questions that we ask ourselves. Will we find the answer to them? See you in episode 400, nerds. Dick Good out! Closed the portal. A bittersweet look on his face. <laughs> yeah. Looking like he just bit into a lemon. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you actually have me appear at any point in this? Where's my drawing? Where's my cool drawing? Where's the cool fan art of Dick Good? It probably isn't safe for work, actually. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's fine. Don't worry about it. No, I... Well, actually, I'll wait into the Legion Control Universe. I guess I probably did get killed. No, you were alive in the Legion Controlled University of American Studies Smiles, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> With two children, Nathaniel and Superfly. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that reference to Albuquerque. <laughs> we had two beautiful children, Nathaniel and Superfly. <laughs> we're All right. so very, very, very happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>